Hello friends, welcome back to Toy Cafe. I am your host, and in this video we are assembling another miniature dollhouse kit, but this time, instead of being a little bedroom or something, it's a tiny cake shop. Does not look adorable and delicious. So we'll get the kit out of this box here, and there are some pretty good instructions. They folded the paper pieces, which is less than ideal, and they also pre-assembled the main part of the room here the uh, the box that actually makes up the room and uh, that's good and bad in for several reasons uh, it's good because it kept the wood from warping too much because it's already held together uh, it is bad because as you see here I had to pre-fold the wallpaper to fit into the box and of course I had to measure and fold carefully and I didn't put such a tight crease into the folds here because I wanted to be able to have a little bit of wiggle room when I actually put the paper into the box and it all came out pretty well but it was close like I didn't have any to trim off of the edges on either side it was a real precision job uh, the floor and the ceiling came out a little bit better there's a bit of a gap there on the ceiling though a little bit uh, a little bit of the MDF showing the wood but that's okay games that came out pretty good nonetheless and now we're assembling the main display case here and I used a couple pieces of cardboard to act as spacers so that I can get this shelf nice and straight. It just floats there and there's nothing really to line it up with. So I just cut these out to make sure I was nice and straight and even. And that came out pretty well. And now we're attaching the glass front. The glass here is just very thin plastic that came with the kit. And I used a straight edge and a scalpel to score the fold line so we get nice crisp folds and it looks like it's actually made out of plate glass so now we're assembling some of the cakes and in the instructions the cakes were just made out of a single piece of paper looped around and then a piece on top and so on and that looked very flimsy and not very easy to deal with so i gave each of the cakes a core of cardstock just a single strip all coiled up like this and glued in place just to make them a little more sturdy a little easier to deal with because they're not flopping and folding in on themselves and I could do things like uh, trim around this round piece using the cake sides as a guide instead of having to cut out the round piece and then try to make that single sheet of paper match the uh, the circle it just made life a little bit easier and it's something I recommend anytime you're making something round like this in a kit give it a little core of strength it makes life a whole lot easier i we'll add some cherries onto the top of this guy. Don't they look delicious? <laughs> Maybe a little bit stiff. <laughs> yeah, those are just beads with some wire in them. Yeah, Still looks pretty good, especially with the lace on the side. Looks like it's a fondant. We'll glue her down to a doily. And we'll put the whole thing in the display case. Now, there are several cakes here, but they're all essentially the same style. Just they have a central core of cardstock then some finish around the outside to make them look nice a piece on the top and then some lace to dress them up and some beads to make them look fancy everything except for those little rolls those are made out of uh, not velvet uh, the other stuff well I can't remember but it's just rolled up and glued together one's uh, one color combination one way and the other ones rolled the other way <laughs> they look pretty good I think kind of delicious so now we're making our table here, and I'm not very happy with how this table turned out because it started out looking pretty good, and then, I don't know, the material just started fraying on me and got away from me, and it just ended up looking really rough. So, not too happy with that one. Probably could have gone back and trimmed it a little bit, but I thought the tablecloth was already too short. Oh well, live and learn. We'll do better on the next one. Here's a little signboard. Advertise all of their cakes and wares. Maybe some of this stuff can be ordered. A few little beads in case you want to hang your coat there. At least that's what I think they're supposed to be. Little knobs for you to hang your coat and your jacket on. And we'll put in some shelves. We're actually starting to assemble the actual room itself. And the wallpaper here assisted quite a bit because it made it very easy to line everything up. Those lines and those diamonds made it easy to make sure you had everything nice and straight and even. So... That was a nice touch. I don't know if they did it on purpose that way, but it worked out very nicely. I like the wallpaper in here too. It's very, it's loud and subtle at the same time. It really uh, jumps out at you at first, but then you just kind of ignore it and it blends into the background. You know, what you want with wallpaper. You want people to look at the room, not the wallpaper. Well, sometimes, but 
yeah get that sign board in there little rack here for tongs uh, these tongs are pretty neat these are actually just silver twist ties so they have like a chrome silver plastic finish and you just trim the twist tie so that it looks like a pair of tongs very easy very simple and it comes out great I decided to make them three different sizes myself uh, just because I thought that looked nicer kind of fancy some cards here advertising more cakes. I don't know why they're still advertising cakes. You're already in the store. You're going to buy a cake, aren't you? Can't imagine leaving a cake shop without cake. <laughs> yeah, some boxes there. Maybe that's what they put the cake in. I don't know what that box is for there. Maybe that's the flour or the cake mix. Oh, it's all a lie. They just use off the store cake mix. <laughs> they will put in the main display as well. Does not look nice. Yeah, creasing and uh, scoring and creasing that plastic really brought the whole thing together on that uh, little display there. It makes it look like it's actually plate glass. Fill that whole thing up. And now we're working on the front of the shop, which is a completely separate piece and is hinged. So you can open and close the shop to look inside. And otherwise, it's like you look outside looking in and then you can go inside and look around. It came out pretty nice. So I'm trimming some pieces here in an odd way because you have to fold it all the way around like that and around the other side as well. And you have to leave them, some of them, a little bit long to do that. So I tried a, a little bit of a different approach on that and it came out uh, pretty nice. Yeah, I think this is, this is meant to be like a sidewalk or poured cement with stones in it. Very colorful though. We're adding some baseboard to the outside of the building. Uh, if you were to see this on a real building, this would all be stone or concrete or something like that. You know, some other decorations all around. And the whole back of this front is has one piece of that thin plastic again to act as the glass. So everything is glued to the glass, which is a little bit different than real life. Normally you build a frame to hold the glass instead of using the glass to hold the frame. <laughs> Uh, they also had this layout sheet in the instructions that really helped with laying out this door, making sure it's all nice and even. Everything's showing exactly where it should go. You just line up your door with the printout and put your pieces on top of the lines and away you go. Very, very clever, I thought. Nice touch for a kit. There we go. Add a little trim around the window. The window has the round the corners, but once you add the trim, it actually looks pretty sharp. Yeah. Uh, Looks like a real window. I like the stonework on the side, too. It looks like uh, facades that you really see on different uh, buildings around town. Another bit of trim. The trim was pretty warped, the bigger pieces. They took a little bit of elbow grease to get into place and straighten out, but lots of glue, and they, they stayed down. <laughs> and there's our signs. Cake love. Again, I don't think the translation came through too well, but... Well, you get the idea. I definitely go to a shop called Cake Love. I'll make lots of jokes about loving cakes. And the people behind the counter will get very sick of them. But, <laughs> yeah, and there I'm, I use my drill again. My little jeweler's drill to drill some holes and add those in there for the sign. Sign could have been a little bit straighter. The wires could have been bent a little bit better, I think. But uh, I think it came out okay when you look at it from the side. If you're looking down, sighting down the end of it, it doesn't look so hot, but uh, from the side it looks better. This is just a little sandwich board for the outside, advertising cake, trying to get you to come inside. This last leg on the back here is just held on with glue, and it was very tenuous. Not a good way to do this kind of thing. Definitely some sort of stop or something to help holding on hold it on really helps and there we go You can see you can swing the door open or the whole wall open and look at what's inside Yeah, I think it's a really adorable little shop lots of other little tidbits in there that I didn't show But uh, they're pretty simple. You can imagine how I made them Yeah, isn't that adorable? I could really go for some cake now not that cake. That's expensive <laughs> Love that little fork and knife. They came with a kit too. Just plastic things, but they look adorable. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon. So you know whenever I make a new video. 
And if you really enjoy this video and the other videos that I make, please consider hitting one of the links down in the description. Those will take you to Amazon. And if you buy the products they link to or any product at Amazon, after you hit one of those links, Amazon will kick back a few cents to me and I will use that to make more videos to show to you. But in the meantime, I want to say thanks for watching. Bye-bye.